Surface runoff contributes to the pollution of freshwater ecosystems through the deposition of carried sediments from different industries and urban environments. This is a result from all the sources of dry and wet precipitation, as sediments are carried through rain or transported down street drains and into lakes and streams. They begin to dissolve in fresh water. Larger debris sinks while the smaller particles stay suspended. The deposition of these sediments, such as sand and silt, are the major cause for the depletion of O2 levels in aquatic ecosystems. Based on continuous patterns of seasonal runoff, climate change can be directly related to these effects. The change in climate can also be linked to the continuous effects of runoff in freshwater lakes and streams. And therefore, these two sources can go hand in hand on the negative impact it's having on the environment. With such an effect on lotic and lentic systems, one can observe the dangerous outcomes that arise with such a change in temperature and precipitation. As the temperature increases, it produces more runoff in winter seasons from melting glaciers and snow. This resulting in a drastic increase in the maximum levels of precipitation of all kinds. As the precipitation falls, the runoff is transport, transports disposable sediments into freshwater systems. This, as a long-term effect, can alter the alkalinity of an eco aquatic ecosystem, causing it to have a change in chemistry, thus creating a negative impact on the productivity of that aquatic environment. As freshwater systems are be being impacted by the deposition of harmful sediments such as nitrogen and phosphorus, the precipitation that is picked up from these freshwater bodies and transported by prevailing winds all around the world can and will have an increasingly large impact on the entire world's biome. Climate change is not the only thing to worry about in the near future. One study has shown results from runoff of meteorological data from northern China that were taken from 11 rivers over the course of 50 years. The temperature, precipitation, and runoff in each area exhibited an upward tendency. Articles of the study displayed that climate change had a significant impact on China's water resources, and during the last five decades, the temperature in each river increased an average of 0.32 degrees Celsius per decade. This direct source of runoff into China's rivers can be the leading cause for such a change in their freshwater systems causing a great impact on their overall environment. Now with the change in climate, northern regions with mountainous areas can expect to see a change in the total surface area of ice cover over the course of several years. This is a result causing more runny runoff and discharge into surrounding freshwater systems. Some studies have been made on the over effect uh, and changes in glacial melting by the influence of river discharge. In the mountainous area of eastern Switzerland, a modeled study was conducted to predict climate change using 35 automated weather stations. The data obtained was used to conclude the total effect of global warming on snow cover and glacial melting. With various models and scenarios, Researchers concluded that in years to come, the models had given an indication that warming temperatures will heavily influence glacial and snow melting. Although glacial activity is not directly related to surface runoff in freshwater bodies, the runoff of melting ice with high levels of sediment debris, known as till, can make their way to freshwater systems through the percolation of soil. Or, in fact, they can be picked up during the process of evaporation during warmer climate changes in certain regions and carried across the world. Once this precipitation can be discharged, it will make its way into our freshwater ecosystems where organisms can be impacted. With the overall negative trends of runoff resulting from melting glaciers and snow cover, the assumption can be made based on the studies that were discussed. Different parts of the world are experiencing similar effects from climate change. With the constant change in temperature and increase in runoff, natural environments and freshwater ecosystems will begin to see a drastic change as well. Although little information was given on the 
total amount of aquatic ecosystems that were being disrupted by this change. With the evidence of runoff effects on local environments, one can predict that in the near future, the deposition of sediments that are carried or trapped in precipitation and runoff will cause a negative effect on aquatic ecosystems, impacting its sensitive organisms. Thank you.